Hi everyone. Today we'll talk about Thai massage and what you need to know about Thai massage. Basically, a complete Thai massage is composed of a traditional combination of energy meridian work, point pressure, as well as yoga-like stretching in order to have an inspiring and a balancing experience. Its kind know this form of massage as a great stress reliever such that, the way it eliminates tension making them feel completely relaxed. The recent worldwide spread of this therapy is quite phenomenal. As a result, you can access time. Massage. This massage therapy is usually different when compared to other types of massages. With this therapy, no oils or lotions are used and the client is usually clothed in the entire therapy session. The practitioners, however, utilize a comfortable mat laid on the floor, unlike in other cases, where a table is often used. Such differences make it possible to attract new clients for the service. Nonetheless, proper instruction must be followed so that the safety of the practitioner and the client is observed. In Toronto, this form of therapy combines point pressure and stretching making it highly beneficial to people who feel stiff, sore or tired as a result of overexertion in work, sports, arthritis and such draining diseases. This therapy enhances strength and flexibility, causes relaxation of sore and tense muscles, and helps in restoring lost range of motions. It is important in encouraging lymphatic function hence acting as a detoxification agent, as well as heartening the immunity which is important in preventing injuries and diseases by promoting flexibility. Thai therapy is usually different from Swedish massage both in their philosophies and techniques. The therapy is an Eastern modality originating from India, while Swedish therapy is a Western modality. The Swedish therapy is widely known as a relaxing therapy and used five main techniques. These techniques are such as stroking, rubbing, kneading, shaking and pounding. The techniques are usually based on Western physiology and anatomy with their main name being to achieve healing and relaxing effects. Thai therapy is however, depicted as a lazy yoga. While it employs similar techniques to Swedish massage, it stimulates the acute pressure points. This is because of its relation to the idea of the energy lines that offers relief, stretches and loosens tightened muscles, and relieves the joints. After Thai therapy, the person is left relaxed and energized. Also, the use of techniques that block and releases blood flow by applying some pressure for 30 seconds or so, on points where the arms and the legs meet the torso. This results in better blood circulation. With Swedish therapy, there is a need for privacy since clients are usually undressed, although they can use a towel to cover themselves. At the same time, clients lie on a table, while oils or lotions are used. Again, a client lies on his or her back or stomach in most cases, meaning the therapy does not often need more physical flexibility. In contrast, Thai therapy does not require the use of lotions as the client remains fully clothed, and privacy is not usually a concern. At the same time, clients can lie on their back, stomach, and side or can even sit. It also requires much physical flexibility. So. What do you think now about Thai Massage? Thanks. Follow and subscribe at Femme Magazine for more videos, more tips.